Brett Keitzman is deep in the IPO market. He is known for early investments in companies including Airbnb, Pinterest, and DraftKings. Rick, always good to see you. You're not in this one. Not in this one, uh, but it's great to be back, and it's great that this seems to be opening a market. This plus this terror today means that we're going to start talking about IPOs again. Yeah. You make the point, though, that this is not a premium company. Yes. So this is really going to be a test, right? This is a real test. That, you know, we, it'll be a little bit of a litmus test for the IPO mar- buyer uh, sentiment because it's not a premium company. It's at the end of the social cycle. It's not premium in terms of its ARPU, its growth. It's still losing money. Yet at the same time, there's tons of demand. Yeah, so Rick, uh, $800 million in revenue last year, 73 million like daily active users. They lost about $90 million. So to, to your point, not a great company. I'm sure they're trying to get costs under control. There was an announcement a few weeks ago, I think, that they did a deal with Google, $60 million to sell access to their API. That is about AI. That's going to be yes. like that sort of story. Are, are companies like this that are losing money going to have to tell a different narrative than they have been telling for the last, let's say, 15 years or so? They, they will. They tried to get leaner. They tried to get more profitable. They did cut costs, but they still can't get to that profitability goal. In addition to that, they did, as part of their roadshow, sprinkle some of that AI pixie dust by saying, we're now an AI-adjacent company being able to license our data. And obviously, licensing your data is 100% margin business. Mm-hmm. So that all falls to the bottom line, and they believe they'll be able to do this multiple times. And a lot of people with great stores of data are going to continue with this business model as these LMs grow and access to data really matters. There's probably not a perfect comp in the publicly traded market world. However, what is this most close to in terms of what we trade? If you look at some of the research, it's it's Pinterest. They're saying, hey, this is poor man's Pinterest. There's, you know, it's a it's a community around goods and services. I think Pinterest has a lot a lot higher intent. So therefore, the average revenue per user is much higher, and you have a lot of search type revenue. Whereas Reddit is a lot of you know random ads that people are trying to. We have untargeted, and they don't necessarily have the tooling to make those ads much better. How do you think this thing trades tomorrow, considering 8% of the shares are allocated to users with no lockup period? I think it still trades up. I I think that there's going to be some effectively, you know, uh, meme stock hodlers. If you think about the people who are going to who are going to be that 8% going to users, go to go into those marketing managers who are uh, running Reddit, they're going to hold. They're going to hold the stock. They're they're true believers. Uh, but I also think you're going to see a lot of people coming in. You know, uh, Astera today trades up tremendously, obviously much different AI story, but still people are interested in new issues. And I think you're seeing the calendar starting to build for the second quarter. Yeah. Do you think we start seeing those Pixie Dust IPO companies, the AI companies rushing to market, or even some of the GLP. I mean, I'm just trying to think of the, the pockets in the market that are in most demand right now. Those are the two. Yeah. Those are the two. So you're seeing some companies that were good companies that were waiting to access the market, especially on the consumer side. Harry's.com, StubHub, SeatGeek. I think you're going to see at least two of those three in the second quarter or before the market shuts for the election. And then you'll see if some of the AIs get pushed out. But the companies that might trade at, at evaluations, which will be extreme premium, would be the GLP-1 adjacent companies mm-hmm. or AI, obviously.